Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Honkai Star Real Playthrough video. Now, in this video, we are going to be doing Serval Landau's companion mission. I forgot what it's called. Let me go see. Time Express. Serval. So this starts off with Serval texting us. Trailblazer, are you there? When I was cleaning, I found two coupons for afternoon tea at the Goethe Hotel. Do you want to come along? Why would I let it go to waste if it's for free? Just wait for me. It's a date then. Whoever stands the other up is a snow mouse. What is a snow mouse? Uh, let's meet beside the lobby. I'll be waiting. Wait, when are we meeting? Hello? You there? And I accepted the mission, Time Express. Head to the Goethe Hotel for your appointment. Saval has invited you for afternoon tea together at the Goethe Hotel for clumsy excuse. After all, there is no such thing as a free lunch. You immediately realize that there is more to it. Oh boy. No matter what, head to the Goethe Hotel and chat with Saval. After all, who can resist, resist a free cup of coffee? At the very least, Saval is one of the few people in Bellabog that you call your friends. No? Huh, okay. Goethe Hotel. Right. Gotha Hotel. Let's have a look see. Up the stairs we go and into the building we go. Hotel lobby. I'm here for my appointment with Miss Sir Valenda. Oh, you're here. Hi, Sir Val. Where did they get to? Ah, speak of the devil. I was just wondering when you might show up. <laughs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. I never say no to a free afternoon tea. <laughs> Don't worry, there's enough to go around. On the house, order whatever you like. Damn, okay. There's something I need your help with. <laughs> I had to make it up to you somehow. What would that be? Looks like we're not the only ones who wanted afternoon tea today, though. We'll have to stand up for the time being. Well, well, I'll help myself to the tea then. Uh, this something. Is it a favor? <sighs> Was it that obvious? <sighs> I'm out of practice. Yeah, you don't just summon us for tea. <laughs> but oh well. No need for the formalities. Let's hear it. Well, you're clearly better traveled than I am, and... I know how generous you are. <laughs> I feel embarrassed to ask now. Uh, how can I put this? It's okay. If I remember correctly, you, March, and Don Hong came here on that train. The Astral Express, right? Yep. I was wondering, is the train accepting new passengers? Oh. Why are you asking this all of a sudden? Well, it, it's just... The dust has settled now. The Stellaron problem has been resolved, and... Krakolia... Mm-hmm. Forget it. it. It's nothing. Forget I said anything. Oh, boy. You see, there's not much left for me here, except to carry on repairing equipment in the workshop. Uh, I like practicing the guitar, and performances are fun, but the crowds are pretty small. Besides, I'm a researcher. How could I not get excited about the chance to explore new worlds up close? Everyone gets tired of living in small places like Bellabog after a few years, right? That's true. I can consult an expert opinion on your behalf. Okay. Uh, okay, I, I'm counting on you. Damn. I know this is a lot to ask out of the blue, so... Apologies in advance. No, it's... it's fine. It's not like you to be so serious. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty big ask. <sighs> There goes Serval. 
I'd better send Himiko a text and ask about the request. Or I guess I could ask Mr. Yang or Pom Pom. Hmm. Who's the best one to ask? Ooh, probably Himiko. Let's send a message to Himiko. Yeah. Miss Himiko, I have a question. Ask away, Trailblazer. <laughs> My friends wants coffee. <laughs> Does the Express welcome new members? The it should. Last I remember. New members? Of course. So long as they're willing to travel with us, the Express's door will always be open. But I would like to know more about your friend. In your experience, what kind of person are they? She is uninhibited. She's a rock star with an uninhibited personality. Sounds like a hobby young people would like. Maybe the Express will become livelier now. What I'm saying is, I agree with letting your friend on the Express. Ask her to take her time packing her stuff. Our Express will always welcome new passengers. Thank you, Himiko. Thanks, Himiko. Don't worry about it. If there are other issues along the way, feel free to let me know. Companion mission time express start. Port back to Serval. That's probably at her workshop then. Mm, yeah, up here would do. Hmm. Does she actually follow us though? No, it's not really canon in this story, I would assume. That also makes you wonder about like her convictions and also I guess whatever lasting commitment she has here. It's practically like uprooting yourself, so I'm not sure how she would feel about that. Or what about the connections she has, so what about Japard or you know Gun Captain Gun Oh Speak of the Devil Hi Japart You should go and talk to Lady Bronya, Serval. It was her personal invite after all. Ah, uh, Japard. I'm a simp. Alright. I know, I know. Let me think about it. What are you guys chatting about? Serval, I already asked them. Uh, is this a bad time? Oh, no, not at all. I could do with a hand, actually. Perfect timing. Please, talk some sense into her. <sighs> I knew it. Hey? So am I supposed to be the good cop here? Um, I try to stay out of family squabbles. You know, <laughs> We should work these things out on our own. Hmm. Serval, I understand your reluctance to rejoin the Silvermane Guards. Okay. But Lady Bronya values your talent, and she sees how much you could contribute to the rejuvenation of Bellabog. So I came to talk to you about it. In any case, you should at least pay her a visit. Hmm. Okay, I get it. I'll make a trip to Klipoth Fort and tell Branya what I really think. Okay. This sounds so serious. Sorry. I need to get this over with. Let me know what they said when I get back. Alright. <sighs> Same old Serval. What happened? Was Bronya caught off guard by her desire to join the Astral Express? Sorry, my head's still in the argument. It's like this. As you know, my sister used to be one of the research team leads in the Silvermane Guard's technology division. The Stellarons were her main area of research. Mm -hmm. But her expertise went far beyond Stellarons. She was, and still is, well-versed in mechanical engineering and other fields. Immediately after her succession, Lady Branya set her sights on Serval's talents. The Supreme Guardian wants her to resume her technological research and be a shining light for the revitalization of Bellabog. <sighs> However, 
You saw her attitude just now. I doubt her meeting with Lady Branya will change anything. It'll probably just leave them both feeling dejected. Maybe she just wants to see the outside world. I couldn't stand an office job either. Hmm. I think there's more than one element to it. Does Japart know about her decision to... I mean, does he know about her desire to, le to leave? My intuition tells me this is mostly linked to Madame Kakolia's passing. Yeah, that's fair. Sounds like you got a story to tell. Let's hear it. <sighs> Never mind. It's just a personal hunch. I've never been good at reading my sister's mind. But still, you probably offer some level of insight that would be useful. I can tell the two of you have a close bond. If you get the chance, see if you can persuade her to open up about it. All right. Hand on heart. I wouldn't want to see her sitting behind a desk in Klopoth Fort and sighing all day either. Hand on heart. Bellabog is too small a place for a mind as inquisitive as Serval's. Maybe it would be better for her to join you on your journey. Oh, okay, so he knows. I'll admit, I'm a little worried about how she plans on getting all this across to Lady Bronya. Are you busy? Let's go and wait for her in front of Klopoth Fort. Nope, I'm not busy. I'll go anywhere with you, Japart. Anywhere. God, I'm sounding like some deranged mofo, but trust me when I say this, I am a simp for Japart. Absolute simp. Jeppy, where are you? Oh, you're on the opposite side. Okay, that's a bit irritating. You know what I mean. But it's fine. Wallace pretentious man. Well, as long as I don't have to do your daily comm again, that would be nice. Cheppy! Ooh! If it isn't one of my most favorite men. Look at the height difference. Jesus. Doesn't seem like they finished uh. talking yet. I hope it's not turning into a shouting match. Let's go in. Oh boy. Shouting match? Got the lag. I apologize for the lag, guys. My computer does not like it. I understand your circumstances, Sir Fall. I respect your choice. It was my mistake to make an unwarranted request without considering your own wishes. No, that's fine. Allow me to offer you my apologies. I hope you don't take this matter to heart. No, no need, Branya. You're a supreme guardian now. Don't let a little thing like this... Besides, I'm the one who should be apologizing. I've put my own personal reasons ahead of Bellabog's reconstruction. Damn. I get it, Serval. After all, you and Mother... Sorry, I don't mean to open up old wounds. But there's something I need to ask you. This guitar, I found it after going through Mother's old things. Damn. She was never a music lover, so I thought this might be connected to you. Kakolia, you... Huh? I... It's nothing. Uh, you're right. It does belong to me. So she still treasures their relationship. In fact, it once belonged to me and Kakolia. It was our shared treasure. If you don't mind, Branya, could I take it back to the workshop? Aww. Of course. I'm... Sure, there's a story behind it, but that's between you and Mother. I won't pry. I hope you have an amazing journey, Serval. 
do remember to visit home when you get the chance. Oh shit, she informed Vranya of her decision. But she, but Saval seems conflicted by it. I will. Thank you, Vranya. Oh damn. Do we get to talk to Bronya again? Hmm. It would be nice, I will say. I assume you heard our conversation just now. Yeah, we did. I didn't expect her to be so open-minded. And she didn't even try to persuade me to stay. She didn't summon me just to return the guitar, did she? I wouldn't rule it out. She's good at reading people's minds. She would have known that you'd never set foot in Klopoth Fort voluntarily. That is true. After all these years, I never thought I'd set eyes on this guitar again. <sighs> I guess we're stuck with each other. So what's the story behind it? Well, it'll take a while to tell. It's okay. When we were in cadet school, Kokolia and I were notoriously disruptive. We were always coming up with the next crazy invention. <laughs> we called it exploring the infinite possibilities of new technologies. This guitar was one of those inventions. Coppolia came up with a name. The Super Electromagnetic Flux Player, or Electric Guitar for short. Ah, I see. Are you sure you you sure you didn't come up with that name? Don't believe me? Let me tell you, Kokolia and I shared a similar way of thinking back in the day. It's a bit of a mouthful, but I liked it at the time. It was a rock and roll name. <laughs> I told you it'd take a while to tell the story. Let's get back to the workshop first. By the way, uh, want to help me pack my bags? Sure. Oh, but your part. Oh, no. Huh. That melody. That's one of yours, right? <laughs> I didn't think many people liked that one. Seems the city might have a few nice memories of me after I'm gone. Well... It's getting late. Well, let's head back. Oh, Japart seems sad. With good reason. With good reason, though, I will say. Hey, it's the Trailblazer. Welcome to the workshop. I'll hazard a guess they didn't come in looking for repairs. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong. Based on our friendship, you can just treat the workshop like your second home. Come have a rest anytime you're feeling tired. What should we do now? <laughs> How's your part doing? Yeah, he's right in front of you. <laughs> There's no place like home. I never feel completely free out there. That's fair. Japard, can you lend your dear sister a hand? Help me pack my bags. Am I allowed to refuse? This place. Just looking around gives me a headache. It's okay, Japard. Just looking at you soothes my headache. Oof. Wait, no. Let's get all three of them in the frame. There you go. Okay. Hey, I promise this is the last time. I am not a Japart sim. I... Uh, okay. I'm about to go traveling with him. Who knows how long it'll be before I can visit home again. 
You should help me pack while you still have the chance. Hmm. Fine. I'll give you a hand. Now you sound sad. You just need to make yourself at home. You've done plenty of work already. Probably listen to the two of them. And we're helping her pack her things. Oh, the guitar. Serval, can we hear more about this guitar now? Since you're so curious, I'll give you the whole story. This guitar was actually given to me as a birthday present by Kokolia a long time ago. I came up with the design, but I was never able to build it. Some of the raw materials were either too expensive or too hard to get a hold of. She helped me turn the concept into reality. Quick as lightning, always keeping her word. That was her way of doing things. Back then, I thought we'd be friends for life. Oh. If it was a gift, why was it in Madame Kokolia's office? I don't think anyone realized, but back then we were so close, we didn't even differentiate between each other's possessions. We shared pretty much everything. We lived in the same dormitory, went to the same school together every day, ate together, filed away the time together, and occasionally talked about music together, though it wasn't something she was overly familiar with. That's how things were until the day we fell out. A lot of our shared possessions never left her office again. I was always looking forward to the day she'd return this guitar. I thought that would be the day we could bury the hatchet. Oh, man. <laughs> now that I think about it, perhaps I was too naive. She'd probably forgotten it even existed. And that's the only Kokolia you guys ever got to know, huh? Always ahead of everyone else. Never looking back, even for a second. She put it all out of her mind. Me and every memory to do with me. She may have been colder than you thought to begin with. You didn't do anything wrong though, Serval. I know. But that's what makes it harder. I see. Let bygones be bygones, sister. How did the conversation get so heavy again? <sighs> no good. <laughs> Let's talk about something interesting. You know something, Japard? That guitar case in your hand and my guitar? They're both from the same prototype. The super electromagnetic flux player. Hence the law that we get that the two of them actually share. Or at the very least, you know, yeah, attack patterns and everything. This shit. Like, Sarval attacks with her guitar, and Japat attacks with the case. I never knew your guitar had a connection to me, too. Quite the story. Damn. Ah, uh, this just feels sad. It's a story about grief. Japard. And I thought I was messy. <laughs> Looks like Japard's got his work cut out for him. Have yeah, fun. Oh, look at those blue eyes. Bl Blonde-ish. Is that blonde hair? Yeah, blonde hair. Blue eyes. Tall stature. That presence. This is supposed to be a sad moment. God damn it. Repair. What's in the case of all? Well, let's see. Ah, yes. A uh, Silver Main Guard standard issue portable heater. It, it's broken though. Oh. It's a family heirloom. Belonged to Rhonda once. You should take care of it. Who's Rhonda again? I wanted to keep it with me. But that's the problem with old things. The less you use them, the easier they break. Besides, no one's paying me to fix it, right? That is true. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't I teach you a few machine overhaul skills? Want to practice on this old antique? No. If it breaks. Here we go again. Oh boy. Little Jeppy. Didn't she order you around like this too? Like I said, let 
Bygones be bygones. <laughs> the principle behind this machine and the one you oh fixed boy. when you first came to the workshop is the same. You'll understand when you see it. So, I'll leave this one to you. In return, how about I tell you the backstory behind it? Sure. No problem. <laughs> Do I have a choice? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't let you join the Astral Express after all. Oh boy. <laughs> Do I have a choice? Come on. It isn't that difficult. All right, Think all right. About it. You helped me fix my machine the first time you came here, and now you're helping me the last time, too. That's called having a beginning and an end, right? Wait, but if you're going... Hmm? Well done for putting up with her for this long. I should say that to you, too. <laughs> All right. This thing again. Oh, boy. Okay. You're weird. This, that. Let's go. Wow, great job. Like I said, a reliable apprentice. Of course. As promised, let me tell you the story behind this little heater. Its original owner was an ancestor of the Landau family, Rhonda Landau. She was one of our great heroes who participated in the defense of Bellabog 700 years ago. The records tell that during the decisive battle, she led two Silvermane Guard Brigades. She engaged the enemy for four full day nights to fight for the city. I still have the newspaper clippings from that time. I'll show you when I get the chance. Damn. She must have been pretty strong. I think I've seen the clippings of before. Of course. After all, she was a Landau. Hmm. Take responsibility for your choices and the people of Bellabog. Every Landau was driven by that ethos. Damn. Hmm. Am I missing things? Oh, unfinished letter. So what was this on oh, the desk? Oh, that's a letter I was going to send to my mom. I haven't even finished reading it. There's nothing personal in it. Have a read if you like. You're still writing to mom and dad? Only to mom. You know, I still don't get along with Dad. Damn. You know, Sir Val, if you're really leaving Bellabog for a while, you should pay them a visit first. Mm, I'll think about it. I suppose there's mysterious plant specimens. Sir Val, what kind of a plant oh, is this? That? It's a botanical specimen. Little Lynxy sent it during one of her research trips. Hmm. As for the name, I can't quite recall. The snowman's palm. Oh. And Little Lynxy is the youngest sister of the Landau family, by the way. Little Lynxy. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Uh, snowman's palm. My memory's the worst. Of course your part would know because he's an avid gardener. It's the only plant here that looks like it's still alive. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, watch it. Anyway, <laughs> this specimen means a lot to me, so I'm bringing it with me. Thanks for the reminder. That should be everything. Hmm. Oh man. This is kind of sad. What should we do now? <sighs> Finally. I think I must have left cadet school with about the same amount. No easy job. <sighs> Serval, I want to ask you again. Do you really want to leave Bellabog and go with the Trailblazers? Of course. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I, I can't miss it. What's wrong, Jepard? Oh, I see. Can't let go of your dear old sister, huh? Aw, cute. I... forget it. I don't want to complicate things for you. Aww. But before you leave, I have one last request to make. The garrison is heading down to the underworld soon to survey the situation around Boulder Town. Why don't you come with me? Huh? You just said you didn't want to complicate things for me, and now you're sending me on a mission. Hmm. Uh-huh. 
You just want to spend as much time as possible with me before I go, right? <laughs> Jeffy is adorable, I swear to God. N no, it's not that. I've heard there are a lot of old energy hubs in the underworld, and you're probably the only person in Bellabog who knows how to inspect them. Since you're leaving one way or the other, why don't you do the people of the city one last favor before you go? Even at a time like this, you're still thinking about the people. I don't know what to say. Oh. All right, I'll help you out. The first and last time the Landau siblings will work together. <laughs> first and last. Thanks, sis. If you have the time, could you accompany the garrison? You're Bellabog's hero. I'm sure you must be popular in the underworld. The Silver Main Guards will face less resistance if you come with us. So it's an image thing, huh? Nah, just joking, of course. Just remember to send me a message in advance. Thanks. I'll contact you when the guards have finished their preparations. <sighs> I'm tired of packing. Let's leave it here for today. Thanks for your help. Oh, the baggage. Oh, I drank all the tea. Why am I getting sleepy? I know what you mean, girl. I just had tea as well. I am sleepy. Time express complete. Serval. We can continue talking about whatever happened. Mm, have you really made up your mind to leave? Yes, I've been preparing myself mentally for a long time. If I back out now, it'll be a huge loss. Can you bear to leave Japart here by himself? Well, would you believe me if I said yes? Haha, <laughs> he is my brother by blood after all. How can I leave him all alone? But I don't have any other choice. Also, it's not like I'm never coming back. And if I really miss him, I can just pester the heck out of him whenever over the phone, right? There's always a way for me to contact him if I need to, so don't worry. The reason you want to leave isn't so simple, is it? Ah, you can see right through me. I'm sorry, I'm not ready to talk to anyone about the reasons behind my decision. I hope you can understand. Okay, I respect your choice. <laughs> Thank you. Make sure you look after me now. Japart. Japart. Jeppy, are you alright? I'm heading back to the military zone later. Do you want to go with me? What do you think about this whole matter of Saval? Huh? Hmm. If you want my opinion, all I can say is that it's in character for her to say something and then do it without thinking. She's always been impulsive. She doesn't mind creating a headache or two along the way. If she can remedy that habit during her trip with you, then I guess it will have been worth it. You're sad to see her go, aren't you? Turns out I'm no good at hiding it. Yeah, it's obvious. She's my sister. We grew up together. I'd be lying if I said I'm not going to miss her. Aww. I'm not afraid of being alone. After all, there's that uh, communication device you gave me. If I really miss her, I can send her a message whenever I want. It's more that I'm worried she won't look after herself properly. Then again, with capable people like you as travel companions, I'm probably overthinking things. No, it's natural. It's getting late. Let's get ready to move. Is there something else you wanted to talk about? We should get ready to head out. Agreed. As soon as you're packed. Is there no fast travel option? Man, you gotta work your issues out. But in any case, uh, yeah, that seems to be the first half of Serval's companion mission quest. Maybe exiting will give me some other, will give me part two of it because it seems like we gotta go somewhere. So BRB. Anyways, we are 
going to the administrative district. There you go. Message from Japan. Jeppy. What have you got for me? We're preparing to set off. Let's meet at the old cable car in a bit. So sudden? Nice. It's not urgent. I still have to head back to the military lines first. I'm guessing Serval just left home. If you arrive before us, you'll have to wait a while. Anyways, see you later. Accepted mission, only a child. Head to the overworld cable car. Navigate. It's downstairs. Uh... Oh, okay. I see the map. All right. Gotcha. It's this way. Meet up with the Landau siblings at the overworld cable car. Oh, lag. <laughs> My computer hates this. But I don't blame it. Um, oh, okay. I was going to be a bit, I was a tiny bit freaked out because I thought, wait, what if this is the wrong place? Ah, oh boy. Oh, there's a bunch of luggage piles here, huh? And investigate that luggage pile. All right, we'll do that later. I remember that. Depart and Serval, we're here. You're here. Thanks again for agreeing to this. Yeah, no worries. <sighs> Sorry to keep you waiting. Don't be. I only just arrived myself. Hmm. The highest priority for today is establishing good negotiations with the chief of Wildfire. I'm about to get that process underway. Serval was a little delayed on the way over, but that doesn't affect our schedule. Let's set off. All right. up i wasn't that late yikes negotiations will be held in the boulder town clinic serval and i are newcomers so you'll have to lead the way yep no worries and get you there easily easily peasily why did i say it like that <laughs> yep no worries though be good. The underworld isn't exactly how I remember it. Feels like we're not getting many friendly looks, huh? Nice. Well, I would assume that's normal because of everything that has transpired, but mm, it will get better. That's what I would say. It will get better. Anyways, let's fast travel to the clinic. Only a child. That's the title of this companion mission. This half of the companion mission. Oh, it's Oleg. Hello. It's been a while. It's been a hot well, minute. Well, well, well. I don't think our little clinic has ever played host to an occasion like this. We meet again, Mr. Oleg. <laughs> Oleg will do, son. Oh, you. You probably won't know. Our young Silvermane friend here and I had the pleasure of speaking to each other at a certain guardian succession ceremony. Ah. We're not complete strangers. But as for this young lady... I see. The name's Serval. I'm, uh, an ex-engineer from the technology division and... Japard's sister? <laughs> pleasure to meet you, Chief. Aw, nice. Likewise, miss. The more the merrier. And it's good to have you here again. It bothered me and Natasha that we never arranged a formal welcome for you. Once we're done talking, you must all join us for a meal. All right. We'd be honored. But to your point, Oleg, let's finish our discussions first. Quite right. Let's head inside. Too much commotion out here.
listen to the meeting between Wildfire and Silvermane Gods. Where is the whole garrison though? Are they inside or is it just us? <laughs> All right. Hi, Natasha. We meet again. Huh. So she's your sister. <laughs> the Landau family is full of talented young people, I see. You're worried that Underworlders might still hold a grudge against the Silvermane Guards. So you want to show your solidarity with the Trailblazers to build some trust. Seems like a sound strategy to me. Rebuilding trust between the two worlds has always been a priority for Lady Bronya. People here must have felt abandoned by the guards after the passage was sealed off. If we were to simply take over the underworld in the name of the Supreme Guardian, I can only imagine how people would react. Yep, that's fair. Seems like you have a good handle on the situation. I see now why you made captain at such a young age. <laughs> <laughs> so... You're also saying the guards want to work with Wildfire and use our reputation to win back people's support, correct? That kind of sounds sus, though, I will say. Hmm. I wouldn't use those exact words, but that is more or less what we want to achieve. Hmm. If that's the case, I've got a question for you. Since this offer comes from those who left us to our fate for more than a decade, how would you react if Wildfire refused? Hmm? Would you use force? Damn, Natasha is coming in swinging. Jeez. Uh, she's not trying to be diplomatic about it, is she? Not really. Natasha won't back down easily. Starting to worry about your brother? Fight, fight! <laughs> Natasha won't back down Who easily. Is she, anyway? <sighs> the barrier between the surface and the underground was the product of the former Supreme Guardian's misjudgment and the policies that resulted from it. The people of Bellabog should have stood together, but instead, we were made to blame and hate one another. Yep. Lady Bronya wants Bellabog to heal. So the Silvermane Guards need to regain the people's trust. But we won't achieve that by kicking doors open and policing everyone around. True. As a grassroots organization, Wildfire did an extraordinary job maintaining order for over a decade in the absence of the Guards. I can only imagine how much work you put in to protect the Underworld. I can assure you that the Guards are not here to seize power. If it takes time for the people to trust us, so be it. We're willing to take small measures and serve as an auxiliary force to Wildfire to help maintain peace. I hope you can see that everything we do, we do to rebuild trust and make Bellabog work for all. Little Jeppy has grown up. <laughs> He thought of everything. That's a true captain for you. I've never really seen this side of him before. The more you learn. Hmm. <laughs> That's an answer I can accept. <laughs> Oleg, what do you think? <laughs> I think there's no need for the guessing game to continue. It's obvious we share the same goal. With the help of Branya, Serval, and Japard, we're one step closer to rebuilding a united Bellabog. I agree. Tell Branya that Wildfire will work with the Silvermane Guards on security matters. However, things aren't simple down here. Please also tell her to draw up plans in case the situation demands. <laughs> Monsters! Monsters from the Fragmentum! All right, that's all cue to act. Swarming toward the town. Not good. Stay here, Natasha. The patients need you. The soldiers and I will handle this. Understood. We'll be counting on you. All right. Springing into action. Everyone rushed Yet outside. Again. I should probably see what's happening. Yep. Let's go. <laughs> uh, 
you say that, but the next thing you know, you're just on your phone playing games, which honestly, <laughs> ah, how funny. How funny indeed. Oh, okay. Everyone's conveniently right outside here. How fun. Please help my friends. All right. What happened? The, the monsters invaded the mine. Please, you have to save my friends. Okay. Otherwise, those things would tear them apart. Don't worry. The Silvermane guards are trained for these situations. Where do we find them? The Great Mine. The one with the big ore vein. Understood. I'll send my men to set up a perimeter and start the rescue operation right away. Mr. Oleg, please entrust the Silvermane guards with the rescue. The defense of Boulder Town will need Wildfire's expertise. Watch out for ambushes and be ready to receive wounded soldiers. <laughs> You're a natural born commander. Understood. Leave it to me, son. Damn, called him son. Nice. Your troops will be unfamiliar with the layout of the mine. I'll send some of my men to be your guides. Oh, they're actually working together. That's pretty Thank cool. You. In the name of the preservation, I promise we'll do everything we can to save lives. I'll go on ahead and lead the troops to the mine. Catch up to us when you can. All right. Talk with Serval and head to the great mine. It's a great mine. Uh, I couldn't get a word in while they were talking. Yeah. Duty-bound soldier and a resistance leader. It's hard to be rock and roll in front of people like that. <laughs> Quite true. You know, maybe I need to put my inner struggles in a broader context. <laughs> hmm. People walk on different paths. Rock and roll means choosing your own way of living. Mental health is always important. You're right. I've probably been idle for too long. It's easy to get stuck in your own head. True. It's just... I see people fighting for their lives and... Here I am thinking about how to escape. I feel guilty about that. But it's also not your fault. Wait a I minute. Mean... Was that Japart's plan all along? He was killed to make me stay? Uh, he sure sudden he sure doesn't strike me as the type. Surely he couldn't have foreseen a monster invasion. Mm, that's true. Anyway, since he asked for help, it's time to give those monsters a shock. Let's go. You know the way to the Great Mine, right? Let's catch up with Japard when you're ready. All right. That's all you needed to say. Let's go. Let's go. Teleport us there. Please. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, it's you. It's you. And it's you. Hmm. Quantum is a must. Quantum is a must. The wind is probably a must as well. In this case, yeah, we'll leave Electra out. But it's her Val's quest. Sorry, Sir Val. Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. We'll keep Sir Val. That's fine. This team works. They've given us the recommended type anyways, so yeah. Right, talk with Japard about the state of the battlefield. Put all artillery units on standby. Wait for my command to bombard enemy positions and cover infantry advance. Okay. We have a choke point here. Tell all infantry units to switch to double line formation. Close quarters in front, gunners behind. Remember, get the wounded out as soon as possible. And always secure your flanks before advancing. Yes, sir. Ah, you're here. Get ready. We need to help the infantry lines drive deep into the mine. All right. How's the situation? You have to go there in person? The battle is reaching a pivotal point. I have to get to the front line. 
I'll leave the command post to my officers. We have clear objectives, and the terrain is relatively easy to read. My officers are well trained. Command system will be in good hands. Damn. I... I don't know much about warfare, but I don't see why a commander needs to lead the charge. The situation here is totally different from the restricted zone. Japard, let me and him clear the way for you. You should stay in your command post. Thanks, Serval, but please trust my judgment on this. I made a promise to Mr. Oleg to save as many people as possible. I have to see to it myself. Damn. There's no stopping you once you've made up your mind. Fine, we'll do it your way. Let's move out. We need to clear a way for wildfire and the guards. All right. Move deeper into the battlefield and help the refugees along the way. I love all, all these boxes are just stacked up like that. Where's the elevator? Oh, it's there. Whoops. My bad. Forgot about that. Down we go. All right. Thank you. All civilians, please go to the bridge immediately. The Silvermane guards have set up a defensive perimeter. You'll be safe there. Damn. There's a monster heading this way. Let's what should we it. do, Jepard? Fight it. Bring it down. We need to cover the retreat. Fight it. Ah oh, man. <laughs> I thought we'd be given a chance to just ambush it or something, but that's fine. I have no interest in conflict. Neither do I. Where is my mouse? Oh, it's there. Alright, something's wrong. I think it's the volume issue. Alright, I think we're good. Yep, everything sounds livelier now. Right, we good. I had a fear. I had a. I had a really weird wondering as to why everything sounded so weird. Thankfully, it seems fixed now. Hopefully, if my frame rate doesn't drop anymore. <laughs> made it easy for us but we can't let our guards down it's safe here let's move on you go further down this way or oh no it's blocked off i eat the other way it should be blocked off as well i believe yep all right only way up is, only way out is up fragmentum and poo Ooh, nice. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Nice. And shock everyone. Knock you unconscious. And kill off everyone with a blast. Boom. Battle over. Move deeper into the battlefield and help the refugees along the way. Right, I'm not seeing much now, but fragmentum. Let's get you. All right. Hmm. <laughs> Time for the main event. This is easy enough. I'm on guard. Let's kill you. Yep. And you're dead. Good stuff. Uh, past victories don't guarantee future ones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Tan Hong. We know. We just gotta do Jepard, this. Look, the miners have put up a makeshift defensive line. 
Oh, okay, cool. Move deeper, help the refugees. Minor. Uh, are you the Silvermane Guard? Yeah. That's right. We're evacuating the miners together with wildfire. Are there any other civilians up ahead? The Silvermane Guards and wildfire are working together now? <laughs> uh. Oh, civilians. Uh, I saw a girl run out from our defensive position just now. Oh, boy. My brother went after her, but they haven't come back. Understood. I'll bring them back. The guards and wildfire have set up defenses on the bridge. You should head over. Thank you. Please bring them back to safety. Uh, oh, no. Uh, monsters are coming this way. Oh, not this Leave guy. The battle to us. You need to fall back. Okay. Thank you for saving us. Not this guy. Was it this guy? Yeah, it's this guy that I don't like. Move carefully. Ah, sure about someone con quantum. God damn it. <laughs> the truth uh, I should not have underestimated it. Oh well. Belly Infernal. Blazing absorption. It's gotta start slowly killing it then. Lance of blaze. Did I really just hit that by accident? Whoops. Forward. My bad. <laughs> oh well. Lance at the ready. Does that have to just slow you down a bit? Rain of purring fine flames. Pretty good crowd today. Apparently I can't speak too. But then. <laughs> You will have this. Kaboom. Fighting is meaningless. If I do this, will Ready it make any difference? Probably, but not a lot. E. Rain of purifying flames. Molten fusion. Q. Let's go, you've been slowed down, so this will have extra effect. Alright, you're half health. Good. This song's for you. Lance of Blaze. Alright. Forward. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. I've no interest in good stuff. Sorry, I have no interest in conflict too, but this is going to be ridiculously long if I don't do anything about it. Oh, Natasha, you got this. I'm on guard. Q. This song's for you. Keep up. Fighting is meaningless. <laughs> Just in time. Why did I click that? I meant to hit four, not two. Oh well. I have no interest in conflict. That's actually a decent amount of health she recovers. Not bad. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Naughty child. <laughs> Yikes. Tree. The truth of life and death. The sanctuary. <laughs> this is much vision. Break. Oh. Nice. That ended it nicely. Let's keep searching for the missing girl and the miner. Is it me or is it cold here? <laughs> Let's search for the missing girl and the miner. Uh, yeah, pretty sure the missing girl is the miner. Ha! Okay, I should not be making jokes. All right, this seems to be a tree, tree wave battle. That should be okay, I assume. I hope. I mean, I'll be okay. Fighting is meaningless. Fighting is meaningless. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. Time for a shot. Now. Lands at the ready. Attack increased. Hmm. Here we can kill everyone at once. Nice. Out of two out of two. Lands a blaze. Forward. Nice. 
Always appreciate it. The truth of life Free. and death is sanctuary. It's but a vision. This song's for you. Keep up. Nice. Frosty absorption. But never mind. You'll be fine. <laughs> Time for the main Turn it up. Got you. All right. Massive damage dealt. Always a good thing. You, 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 and you. Pretty good crowd today. You. All right, we good. Final one. Lance of Blaze. And I'm lazy, so we sh we shall do that. <laughs> Killed everyone in a single shot. That's my favorite. <laughs> Just back to back attacks. Pa pa pa. Thank you. Weakness. Enough to break. Nice. Uh, can kill you off first. Fine with me. Songs for you. Keep up. Not a child. Sure. It's time. And then this should do the trick. Let's go. All right. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Look for the girl. Not a sustenance anchor. The trapped They're one. In danger. Let's go. All right. Gotcha. Nice. First attack. Okay. Decent. Decent. I'll take it. Slow down. Nice. The we can use this on your. Good, good stuff. Nice. Absolutely like that. Lance at the ready. All right. Do this. That should trigger it. Lance of blaze. Oof. Nice. Immediate break. Absorption. I'm on guard. No worries. We're gonna take you down really quickly. No interesting Fighting is meaningless. You did. Nice. That's easy enough. You two. It's too dangerous here. Find the Silvermane guards in Wildfire at the bridge. They'll protect you. Uh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Dino, take my hand. Let's get out of here. It's so cold here. I'm scared. Don't be here. The monsters have gotten stronger somehow. I don't remember them being this difficult. Hmm. Thank goodness we got here in time. If we'd arrived any later... Yeah. That's one brave little girl. <laughs> you were like that at her age, too. Huh? I wouldn't go that far. I only had Dad to deal with. He could be fierce, but nothing like the monsters here. Besides, my problem with him wasn't that he was a strict father. I just couldn't believe that he never lifted a finger to oppose Kakolia's order to seal the passageway. Oh, shit. Vowing to protect the Underworlders in one breath? And then deciding they deserve to be abandoned in the next? Family code of conduct. What a joke. Damn. Okay. Father was a soldier. He wasn't supposed to question the orders from his superiors. Well, what are you doing right now, Depart? No, I know I sound like I'm defending him, and I don't want to make you angry. At least now we've got the chance to right the wrongs. I'm angry just thinking about it. Looking back, I'm glad I left home early. 
Oh. Running away doesn't solve the problem. It's been ages since you two had those fights, but you still can't let it go. You need to walk out of his shadow. I... <sighs> I'm not trying to change your mind. I just want to know that your choice to leave this planet is a result of having thought things through. Not because you're trying to run away from something. Yeah. My choice. Sorry. I sound like dad. <sighs> Don't worry about it. I get what you're trying to say. I, I do. It's just... I need some time. That's fine. Let's focus on the business at hand. That miner we met said his brother came this way. We should look around. Okay. Be careful, though. I sense a drop in temperature. Something's not right. It could mean something we haven't encountered before is waiting for us. Stay on your toes. Alright. Keep moving forward and look for miners who have been separated from the others. Thank you, for example. <sighs> These monsters are tough. I need to find those kids. What kids? Hey, did you just scare off a fragmentum monster? Uh, kind of. There was one on its own. I managed to chase it away. Speaking of which, you came from that direction, right? Did you see two little kids, a girl and her brother? Yeah. If you cheat it to the safe zone. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I chased the monster too far and lost him. They'll be okay now. You should head back to the bridge too. The guards and wildfire have set up a safe zone there. Ah, oh, thank you. All of you. I'm just glad they're okay. I can finally retreat as well. I heard there's a powerful monster down the road. Some kind of leader of the pack. I take caution. Thanks. Thanks for the intel. We'll be careful. Hmm. Okay. I think he was right about the monster. You two. No sudden moves. That guardian? I've seen this type of monster a few times near the restricted zone. Ready? Here we go. Psh, you're not that bad. Come on. Wait, don't get too close. Something's not right. What is it? What is it? What is it? These monsters are usually eager to fight. You're guaranteed a fierce battle if you see one in the Fragmentum. Uh-huh. But this one doesn't seem concerned about us. This could be a trap. A, a trap laid by a Fragmentum monster? Are they that smart? I'm not sure either. Looking at the sights. I just have a feeling that something's different. Okay. The air... It's so cold. Stellaron promises survive. Oh boy. Did just talk? That's new. Steady. Get ready to counter its attack. Can Jepard not hear that? Jepard. Survive. Londo. Oh boy. Did it just say Jepard and Serval? Yes, it did. <sighs> that noise. Do fragmentum monsters usually sound like this? No. The monster is... It's talking. It's talking to us. Can you not hear it? Talking? I just hear white noise. Wait. Do you understand it? Because it is repeating your names. Our names? Nothing here. Oh boy. Is it another case of Stellaron Resonance? heard rumors about this kind of monster. Shadows in the Fragmentum that assume human form are echoes of the will of past guardians. If the rumors are true, could it be? Kakalaya. You... You just won't stop haunting me. I try everything to put the past behind me, and yet you always manage to creep up again. Kakolia, you... you witch! You've terminated my research and ruined my life. What else do you want to take away from me? 
Calm down, Serval. It's just a fragmentum illusion. All that time we spent together. Was any of it real? Oh, damn. It was so easy for you to just leave this world behind. Don't you at least owe me an explanation? Serval! Oh, no. Oh no. Saval, watch out. There is no place for you. The promised new world. Damn. I'm getting chills. Sister, I know you want Madame Cacolia to respond. But this thing in front of us is our enemy. It was born out of the evil gathered in the fragmentum. You won't get answers from it. Fight with us, sister. Let's dispel the shadow of the past once and for all. Damn. Of course. If you're not yet able to confront the past, then he and I will fight for you until your heart is ready. Are you coming with us? Let's take it down. You too. <laughs> I'm sorry, brother. I always make you worry when things get serious. But I see what you're doing. Reverse psychology, huh? That little smile on your part's face. Stop, sir. Why are you so hot? And Oh, god damn, you're doing things to me, man. Well, seeing as we've come this far, Kakolia, let's settle this bad blood right here, right now. Let's go. Confronting your past. All for it. Oh, my blood is pumping. I'm alive. Move carefully. Holy shit, wait, how much damage did that do? Wait a minute, hold on. Ready um, to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. This is what happens when you have half-built characters. I swear to God. You did not react to that at all, did you? Okay. Break. You sound like Kokolia. Uh. Alright, we're healing Serval. Ready to jam. Let's go. That sounds like a dying Enderman. No interesting yeah, I don't really care. Slow down as well. Today. Nice. Fighting is meaningless. Have I not broken you yet? Well, I mean, Serval can break you. Yourself? Let's go. You can fight it or rock with it. King Shadow loses that. all stacks. I'm on guard. Gauge recollection. No interesting conflict. All right, we good. We good. Temperature is returning to normal. The monsters are retreating. I think it's safe to say that the shadow of Madame Cacolia was the reason for this invasion. The other anomalies we experienced were probably also a direct result. Whatever the case, we've managed to avert a crisis. Are you okay? Mm. That was it. That baddie scratched the itch. It sounds like something the hero of Bellabog would say, all right. <laughs> it would have taken us much longer to fight off the shadow without you. Serval, how are you feeling? I... I 
feel like something heavy has finally been lifted. All that noise before it perished. Did you catch what it said? It said, why do you always have to stand in my way? It said, thank you, Serval. <laughs> really? I guess it doesn't matter. <coughs> From here on out, I'm over that woman. Damn. I can tell you mean it this time. I'm happy for you, Serval. It's not easy to truly put the past behind you. Yeah. Looks like we accomplished our mission. I need to get back to the guards and wildfire to wrap things up. You two should head over to Natasha's place and check in on the wounded. Sure. Come find us later at the clinic. Let's leave Jafar to his business and head back to town. Nice. So we gotta head inside the clinic. Okay. It's getting late. Where to now? Hmm. Report to Natasha. Meet again. How have you been? Okay, no, this is just the uh, same lines. It's Dr. Natasha. We're back. I see. <laughs> Thanks for bringing me up to speed. The clinic has been busy while you were gone. We've treated many people, soldiers and civilians alike. All in all, I owe everyone a big thank you. It would have been much harder if Wildfire had operated alone. True. Thanks to Captain Jepard, we managed to keep our losses to a minimum. I'm sure people will begin to appreciate the Silvermane Guards after this battle. Yep. What about me? Uh, Serval helped too. <laughs> <laughs> How can I forget about you two? We couldn't have done it without your help. You're too kind. They deserve the real credit. I doubt I'd have come back in one piece without them. Sounds like you went through a lot of danger. Are you hurt, Miss Serval? I, I can have a look if you like. I'm all right, don't worry. Everything worked out eventually. Let's wait for the rest of them to get back. Miss Natasha, we've returned. Is that your part? Jepard returned and reported to Natasha what happened on the front line. Mr. Oleg has a pretty good handle on what's needed in the mine. He's arranging for rescue teams and supplies to be sent over. We won't be back for a while. Looks like you guys have the situation under control. Thank you. Uh, I'd love to sit down and chat with all of you, but I still have a backlog of patients to see. Oh, there was a girl and her brother who said you saved their lives. You might want to check on them and see how they're doing. Aww. Natasha's right. We should make sure those children are all right. Where are they? Oh, did I? Hello. Come on, drink it up and you'll feel better. But there's smoke coming out of it. 
That's steam, I would assume. How are you guys feeling? Uh, it's you. You saved us from the monsters in the mine. You guys are Silverman guards from the overworld, right? Hmm. If you hadn't been there, we would have... I'll think of a way to repay you. I'll get a job and... Saving lives doesn't need repayment. Don't hesitate to m let us know if you need anything. Thanks. We can manage our daily expenses. No worries. Mom and Dad went somewhere far away a long time ago. Haven't come back yet. <sighs> They'll come back one day, Zeno. So, you're looking after your brother on your own? That must be hard. Oh. <sighs> Not really. It's my responsibility as a sister. I'm just worried that with all these monster invasions, maybe one day I won't. My brother is too young to survive in the underworld. To think he might have to live on his own. Hmm. The misjudgment of the former Supreme Guardian isolated the underworld for more than a decade. With that isolation came tragedy. But under Lady Branya's leadership, the Silvermane Guards will atone for past mistakes and bring relief to the people. From now on, you don't need to worry about the safety of your family. Captain Chapard. Taking care of yourself is hard enough under these circumstances, let alone if you have a brother to look after. I know it can't have been easy. Zeno, right? Yes, Mr. Captain. You're still young, so you need to stay under your sister's wing. But when you grow up, remember to use what you've learned to protect her. Be there when she needs you, and listen to her when she feels vulnerable. She'll do the same for you. Okay, sir. I'll protect my sister when I grow up. Thank you, Captain Chapard. Zeno and I will remember your words. You know, I'm pretty good at turning a happy reunion into a tear fest. Let's call it a day and give them some room. If you're not too tired, Chapard, can I talk to you for a moment? Leave the clinic and listen to what Serval has to say. It's like a mirror of them. From when they were younger, I would assume. At the very least, that's what something similar to that light cone. Like, there's a specific light cone that shows Serval protecting Japard, and I think that it's probably something similar to what everything has transpired. With um, with the refugee boy and girl, it's like a reflection of their. What you said back there. Did you really mean it? Of course I did, and it wasn't some last-minute speech I cobbled together. It's how I always felt. We can't always face problems alone and build walls to keep people out. We need to learn to rely on others, especially those we care about the most. Mm. I know what you're up to, Jeppy. Huh? What do you mean? You made it sound like you were talking to those kids, but you were talking to me. <sighs> Who's building that wall now? <sighs> well, a Landau just called out a Landau. Uh, Japard, I changed my mind. You mean? Change of plan. 
I've decided to stay in Bellapop. Damn. Serval, I... I just want you to know that I would have supported your decision, no matter what you chose. I wasn't trying to force you to stay. I know that, Japard. Don't worry. I've thought this one through for a change. What you said was the last piece of the puzzle for me. I suddenly realized that my decision to leave was just me trying to run away from my problems. It wasn't a mature decision. <laughs> I've always found it hard to handle complex relationships. Be it Kakolia or my family. The first thought I have when things don't work out is to run away. Starting from today, that's no longer the case. After all, I'm not doing this on my own, right? Right. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had any idea about the hardships people were going through in the underworld. It made me feel like maybe I could help a little and make Bellabog a better place. I have one last thing that I might need your help with. That's your always glad to help. I I want to see the Stellaron. I want to see the place where Kokolia sacrificed herself. Say no more. We'll go with you. Oh, but before that, I need to go back to the workshop and get something. Why don't you head north first and we'll catch up with you? It's all right. I've got to part with me. We'll be safe. See you in a bit. A golf wall. Mr. Yang had marked, but let's look around. Oh. Purr, it's cold here. Is this the Stellaron imprisonment device? They had such advanced technology back in the day. Impressive. This is where Madame Kakolia died. Hmm. She gave something back in death. Is there anything you want to do here? Did you come here to pay tribute? No. I, hmm. I wanted to come here to perform. To say goodbye. Closure. I'm glad you guys are here to witness it. Not the nicest spot for a show. And the equipment could be better. Sorry about that. The stage is yours, sister. Look at me, Kakolia. Don't you dare look away. Because I... will no longer live in your shadow! Um. She destroyed her head on. Wow. <laughs> Hello. 
happy? Happy? I just wish I could have seen the look on her face. Oh, man. Shame. <sighs> well, that's all from me. Thanks for sticking by my side throughout all of this. As for tonight, let's go to old Gerda's place and have a big feast to celebrate. <laughs> So, you're getting the tab? Oh, man. Only a child. Complete. Serval has become a visitor to the Express. You might come across Serval when you return to the Express. Japard! Oh! Has also become a visitor to the Express. You might come across him when you return to the Express. Frozen March. Serval's Faithful. An autobiography. Wow. That was intense. Uh, that was intense. Damn. Nice. I wonder if we head to Gertha Hotel, would there be anything? It would probably be good to check. Mm. Actually wait, we should probably check Serval's um, little... Yeah, the Neverwinter f workshop, if she's there. If she's there, then um, we'll probably find your part back in the uh, Silvermain camp. It's getting late. Where to now? We'll see. Uh, if not, we'll probably find him at Old Goethe. So, Goethe Hotel. Serval. I just want to chat. How are things these days? What are you asking about all of a sudden? Ah, you mean that thing back at Everwinter Hill? I did the growly voice and smashed up my guitar. It wouldn't be very rock and roll if we just hid in the shadows and said nothing, right? Whether it's family or friendships, in the face of setbacks, all I used to know how to do was escape. I never thought about trying to fix the root of the matter. But everything is different now, thanks to you and my bro's support. I finally made the decision to make myself better. As for the city of Valabog, I can put my knowledge to lots of different uses. I use my talents to help people around me and put aside for now any thoughts of escape. But then again, I'm not faking it when I say I love travel. I hope that once the time the time's right that I can go out there and trailblaze together with you. I wonder whether any of the other voice lines are have changed. Um how's your part doing? Oh, you mean the thing in the silver main? Nope, that was after all of that, but that's fine. Mm. 
Hmm. Nope, that seems like normal context that we've been through. I just want to chat. Chatting at a time like this, but that's okay with me. Oh no, we've done that before. Alright, then that's all of that from Serval. And what about Japar? Uh, right, I forgot where he is. Corridor? Fading echoes? No, he's in this. This backwater pass. Nice. He's in a place with a. Uh, I think it's here. Yeah. Front line. The part said front line. I forgot about that for a sec. Hey Japart, here to see you. Yeah. What's Serval up to these days? Same old, same old. Hunker down at her workshop, either working on orders or dragging Pale and links to rehearsals. But after that trip to Everwinter Hill, I don't think I've noticed her looking all glum anymore. I reckon she she sorted her troubles out. This was all thanks to your help. I thank you on my big sister's behalf. My friend said that's what we do. It was your companionship that changed her. It looks like you really care about your big sis. Perhaps so. It heartens me to see her go back to her usual carefree self. In any case, I am truly thankful and honoured to have a friend such as you. Oh man. Is there any more changes to how's your relationship with your big sister? Or uh, Nope, that's her that's his normal uh, conversations. So yeah. It seems like that was it for this story quest. Companion mission, sorry. I guess it would it wouldn't be right for me to call it Servals. I mean yes Serval was involved, but I would say it's the Landau siblings companion mission. That's what you call character growth. That is what you call character growth. And yeah, it really did resolve another one of the uh, questions of what happened. Uh, sorry, not questions, but it sort of gave us a more in-depth view into how mm, nice. disposable kinetic cannon. Does this look so familiar? Kinetic arm. Oh damn, these are good. But yeah, that quest was really, really something. It's insane, I will say. Yeah, you know what? I need to like just stand somewhere and just talk about it. I think that was a really good quest. We were able to look at we were able to look at the fallout of the events from Kokolia from her death uh, a little bit more in depth because of her relationship with Serval. We were able to see Serval and how her character grew from Kokolia's death. Especially when, you know, she doesn't know anything about why it happened. She doesn't know anything about how it happened. And especially when, you know, she and Kokolia had really good close ties in the past. And, you know, her, her working through 
not just the baggage from Cocolia, but also, I guess, her grief as well regarding Cocolia. And it's nice to see characters being vulnerable like that. Especially after everything that's happened in the story. I think we're getting really good character development for, for these characters. And it really is heartwarming to see, you know, the family dynamics in this game. How they play out. How we all stand to learn from it. There is a light cone that... I don't know if you guys have seen it. I mean, I've seen it because people have posted it before. And of course, you know... Uh, I don't have it. It's the light cone of uh, Serval protecting Japart from, you know, I think when Japart broke a vase or something like that. And yeah, it's nice to see that that has morphed to, you know, them protecting each other when needed. And it's nice to see that the siblings are still helping each other. They still care and love for each other to some extent even in this day after they've you know gone their separate ways grew up as completely different individuals and i think it's really heartwarming to see it's really amazing how they're able to flesh out the characters so well in this companion missions and it really does bring the whole idea of a companion mission out that you're really getting to know the characters more getting to see more of them and getting to experience more things from their perspective as well yeah it's it's a really cool experience and of course you know getting to see how big brain this guy is as well that's amazing never stop staring at you Oof such a sim yeah in any case this was a really really good companion mission along with the voice acting as well voice acting for Honkai Star Rail has been amazing from the start till now like I have no complaints against it and I have a lot of compliments for it the emotions portrayed the right timing for everything god it's insane how much effort went into this and yeah i have to say this was insane very very well done very very well thought through as well in any case i cannot wait to start on the <laughs> companion missions for the rest of them so for the remainder of the characters that appear in version 1.1 i cannot wait to start on their story quests their companion missions and yeah that will happen in the next video slash stream for you guys there are three of them that we haven't completed yet it's bailu Locha and Yenting. And those three will be done at a later date. To you guys on YouTube, I hope you liked this playthrough. I had a lot of fun with it. And it's really heartwarming and really brought out a lot of emotions in me as well. I know I don't, I wasn't really expressive this time around, but I can resonate with some things that Serval has mentioned, some things that Serval has been through. And yeah, it it's really given me a lot to ponder about where I am in life, about what I've always been thinking about, even though like, you know, unspoken thoughts and everything. Yeah, it's just it's this quest has just given me a little bit more perspective. And I like it when quests can, when, you know, such stories can be integrated or at the very least, you know, 
can impact someone's life, you know, just from offering the perspectives that it offers. Even if it's just a passing thought or, you know, a little bit of a ponder. It's still amazing how stories that are told in this format can really impact people. And I think that there is something that there is something valuable in that. But in any case, enough of me rambling. Thank you guys so much for coming to today's video. And you know, if you like it and you want to see more, do leave a like. You know, you can comment maybe just some thoughts about the overall story quest. I, I have to stop calling it a story quest. It's a companion mission. Um, same, same, I guess. But yeah, you know, comment what's your favorite part about this, whether or not it gave you any insights or any learning points that you can apply to your life, because it certainly has for me. And yeah, I do love seeing character growth. I do love seeing character development. And this was a treat. In any case, I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash non-existent at ah at twitch.tv forward slash that non-existent soul to see all of these live when I do do them live. In any case, have a nice day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.